There we go. Hi guys, my name is Libby Ingram Storer. Uh, I work at Shell as a geophysicist, um, developing wells uh, across the Mars Basin and the Gulf of Mexico. And I'm here to tell you a little bit about my career journey. So you are going to hear two versions of this story. The first is the typical one that you hear at these events of I started here, I went there, I learned this, and it made me the person I am today. I can't wait to tell you about the failures though because they were spectacular. <laughs> we're going to start with, these, with the shiny part though. So my career, uh, I'm originally from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Uh, go Tigers, I attended LSU where I studied petroleum engineering and geology. Um, I really leaned into the petroleum engineering. In fact, I'm really not sure why I'm here. Maybe I was supposed to go to the pipeline or scholarship night. Um, <laughs> no, but I, uh, I decided after LSU, I was like, I did three internships, um, two in New Mexico, Farmington, best place out there, um, and then one in Alaska where I got to spend a summer in Anchorage, and I said, this is what I'm going to do for the rest of my career. <laughs> well, I did start at Conoco. I started here in Houston, Texas, where I was a completions engineer. Um, I started uh, in 2014, um, and during my time at Conoco, I had all of these awesome experiences. I got to go out to the field. I got to watch frack jobs happen in real time out in Colorado, as well as North Dakota. Um, and then my time with Conoco ended in 2016. Um, if you look at oil prices, it was just not a great time for the industry. Um, and so I had to find new ventures to be a part of. So that's when I started my master's at the University of Houston. Um, I did the professional master's program in geophysics and concurrently found a, a small contractor job with a 10-person shop called Wendy Cove. Um, it was fantastic. It was a very different experience from what I found at Conoco, going from uh, a, mo a mid sized operator to literally 10 people. Um, but it was wonderful to, to sharpen my skills and start to, to use a, my geoscience toolbox a bit more. Um, I also had the opportunity to intern at Hess, which was another great opportunity to start really honing in on my geophysics skills. I uh, interned in the Stampede Group, so my first taste of Gulf of Mexico. Very fun. And I graduated shortly after that at the University of Houston with my master's, and I was so stoked to get my offer from Shell. I started in the Gulf of Mexico Perdido Development Group. Um, I've gotten to go to some amazing places with Shell. I've been offshore. Um, this is actually um, the Deepwater Thalassa drilling rig, and then uh, you can see me exploring, being my best explorer pose, um, out in the Permian Basin, RIP. <laughs> All right, and, and that's my pitch. If I was here looking for a job, which I'm pretty happy where I am, so not right now, um, that's approximately my pitch. But the real story, I think, is just so much more interesting, so let's dig into that. Okay, yada, 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 did the degree thing. Um, I actually had a Facebook memory post come up the other day that was really funny, where I was just graduating LSU and my professor had asked me to write a paper, how do you envision your career for the next 15 years? And I can guarantee you, the entirety of that paper was, I'm gonna be a ConocoPhillips completions engineer. And I, I started there, but the oil, you know, I went out to the field, I found out that completions was interesting, but maybe not my favorite, my favorite thing to do in oil and gas. Um, when I interned, I got to do a lot of logs, and I thought, completions, I'll get to deal with all of these logs and get to, to interpret the geology in them. I didn't realize that the operations role that I took was spending a lot of time out in North Dakota, and it was spending a lot of time understanding the mechanics of how sliding sleeves work and oftentimes don't work. Um, it's about capturing trouble time, and these were things that were not leaning on the geoscience skills that I, I really liked, and so I did find myself wanting a little bit. Um, and fortunately, ConocoPhillips gave me the opportunity to try something new. Um, <laughs> so I started my master's at U of H. I said I was a part of the professional program, and I was looking for a job. I said, I'm joining this program so I can get 
a job as soon as possible, and then I can, I can, you know, just keep going on my journey because I did not think that I'd be looking for a job two years after school ended. So I made all of these resumes. Lovely, you can see resume November 2017, resume February 2018, uh, resume February 2018, A&D. I was looking at the banks. And at the same time, I was trying to meet as many people as I could. So actually, there are a couple of folks in this room that I've talked to uh, in, in this turbulent period of my life that I learned so much from and I'm such a better career person um, because of. You know, I reached out on LinkedIn. I said, hi, my name is Libby. This is blah, 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 my pitch. Um, would you like to meet for coffee? I'd love to hear about your career story. Um, maybe you can give me a job. I learned how to put that a little bit more LinkedIn friendly. Um, and sometimes I got a coffee meeting. Sometimes I got ghosted. That's OK. Um, so all the while, I am at U of H. I'm working on that master's, um, learning some new skills. In one of those LinkedIn messages, I talked to an old coworker. Uh, he was a vendor of mine when I worked for Conoco. And he said, you know, I have a friend who is looking for someone really cheap that can help with their 10-person operation. And I said, I'm hired. <laughs> so I, I, I reached out to this guy on LinkedIn, and I got this contracting position. And it, it was great, it, truly. It was so wonderful to have two different experiences to compare. Um, and, and, but unfortunately, it's a 10-person shop, and that, that journey ended pretty shortly afterward. Um, so after that, I was able to um, do some more LinkedIn networking. I found a U of H alumni. I said, hey, I'm also a Cougar. Here's my pitch. It was a little bit more refined by that point. And he said, that sounds pretty cool. Why don't you come intern it with us at Hess? Again, really awesome experience. I met so many wonderful people there, and I started to understand how to be a geoscientist. Um, but I wasn't hired. And so one more, one more rejection, one more step to get closer to what I wanted to do. So how did I fill my time? Oh my goodness. So uh, you'll recognize the man in the bottom picture here. Uh, that's Mr. Sternbach. Uh, I actually worked with AAPG briefly as their media person um, just to try to meet some new people. I'm really artistic, uh, really creative, and so I said, I just need an outlet to do something with all of that. And so I helped make some commercials for the Prowess team. I helped do some YouTube videos. Um, it was great, and I got to meet some really lovely people. I went to a lot of conferences. And that is exactly how I felt going to all of those conferences. <laughs> SEG, SE, SPE, AAPG, all of them. But by that point, I had given my pitch, I don't know how many times, but it was pretty good, if I remember correctly. Maybe it's a little rose-colored glasses, but at SEG, I walked up to the shop booth and I said, my name is Libby Ingram, and I had my pitch down. And I hooked them, and it was fantastic because all of a sudden, I had submitted my resume to the Shell web website. All of a sudden, things started happening, and someone pushed a button and said, yeah, let's let her through to the next stage gate. And then the rest is history. Uh, this was my job tracking spreadsheet. I can guarantee you, I did not have as many job offers as you see are green. I'm pretty sure that was me being optimistic, but they hadn't told me no yet. <laughs> but. I eventually, I got my shell offer. I think I made it the brightest shade of green that was available in Excel um, on my final spreadsheet at this time. And I graduated. I, I was able to um, use my, you know, I, I did my, my master's capstone and was able to, to finish that up. And then I started shell shortly after. So it was a pretty turbulent way to go from what I thought was going to happen to what did happen, but honestly, this is the best career fit for me. I'm so glad that I had all of those experiences to meet a bunch of really wonderful people in the industry and to learn that, that you know, it's not a one-person show. It's, it's, it's all about the cumulative experience. Um, and so I know that some of y'all may be having some difficulties job hunting right now. And I just want to let you know that 
maybe this is just part of that cumulative look um, to get to where you're supposed to be. So I, you know, I have a couple of other, other slides, but I think that's a really nice note to go out on. Um, so let me just boop, 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 boop to your next speaker.